situation where you are innocent, the very first time that you see someone from CPS not doing what they said they do, or looking like they're backing out or trying to break your bond with your child or doing something against uh, the natural rights between a parent and a child, I think at that point it doesn't matter what your public defender says. You should not be cooperating with them any longer because they're not cooperating with the law and with the Constitution. So as long as you continue cooperating with their violation of Constitution and constitutional rights and the Bill of Rights, as long as you agree to let them take you through this hell, um, they will take you through hell and hope that you come out on the other side looking like a burnt, crisped up piece of toast. You may as well leave the hell and go to where it's not hell and start telling people what's happened because you're not ever going to get anywhere in the United States as long as they have CPS set up the way it's set up right now and as long as they have the government authority and controls that they have and if they're already breaking their agreements in trying to keep your bond and your attachment, parental attachment together any threat of abandonment is just an attempt to force you to stay in this country. They've taken your child, they're holding your child hostage, and you are also being held hostage because as they know that as long as they have their chi your child, they have you. You're not going to go anywhere because they'll bring up abandonment of children and how they'll terminate your parental rights. Um, they'll let you see your son or, or daughter tortured and then try to give you all these ideas you know about if you just do this then maybe you can help your kid make you feel very desperate and then they try to in making you feel desperate and helpless squeeze you into doing all these really non CPS type things like how about have an IQ test because the CIA really is not involved at all could we have more blood samples please we need them to see if you're a good parent No, this was never about drugs. So then why did she need all the blood samples? Oh, that was just um, how we helped the government do their research on the effects of torture to the human body. Um, but you're really not a concentration camp prisoner. If you don't do this, we'll, we will torture your child even worse. You see how your child's suffering now? Better comply. You better go along with us. You better pay us. You better work with us.